For the first time in years, the Democrats have taken control of the U.S. House of Representatives. I've heard this called a tsunami tonight. Today, we have made history. One party has control of all of Washington. It's hard for me to imagine it ever being worse in the history of our country. We are in need of a new direction. All right. All right. Amen. Amen. Democratic Congressman Rahm Emanuel has been named to lead his party's efforts to retake the House of Representatives. The decision to have Rahm do this was a decision to say, all right, we're going to be bold, push the envelope. Rahm Emanuel does not like to lose. There was no sentiments in this. It was pure winning. I was recruited by a lot of people all the way to the NFL. Nobody recruits as well as Rahm Emanuel does. I don't care whether Rahm Emanuel chose you. Anything to defeat these wicked people in Washington. Duckworth's Black Hawk helicopter was hit with a rocket-propelled grenade. What happened to my legs? I was hurt. And so this is an artificial leg. What happened to the other one? I lost it, too. I'm not a politician, I'm a sheriff. In the year of the outsider, in the year of politics, it's changed. People who've never run for office are, by their nature, change agents. But there's risks associated with it. We have tons of issues. Those are the constituents in your own backyard. I don't know if there's any rules or anything, or anything I'm supposed to, anything I'm supposed to know. It's not all this politics is brand new. They're doing it with the vigor and, and yeah. enthusiasm. My son joined the service after the attacks in Washington and New York, and he told me, Dad, I want you to run in this race. The Democrats decided they had to be more flexible on social issues. I'm a pro-life candidate. And Emmanuel's strategy was to have as many good candidates in as many places as possible, just on the theory that anything can happen. Congressman Mark Foley's resignation was abrupt. This is our moment in history. We're going to take it and run with it. There's a tremendous amount at stake. They're not just going to give up. They're very relentless. I ran for Congress to be in the majority. We'll hold the House. They'll say whatever they got to to hold out the power. Nancy Pelosi sucks. If you're not being attacked, then you're not being effective. Uh, Republicans were scared of Rahm Emanuel, and that really played into the way they ran their campaign. Here's something that the National Republican Campaign Committee sent out saying Diane Farrell is linked to the Taliban. Gigantic billboard saying Baron Hill wants to get rid of God. Baron Hill wants to kill babies. People actually believe that stuff. You know, to see my dad have to go through that, I get emotional talking about it. Tammy Duckworth gave both of her legs in service to her country. What else could she possibly have done to get an endorsement from the VFW? Loyalty should be to country, not to any one party. Gentlemen, present arms. Give Heath the words tonight as he shares. Allow him to say what it is that you want him to say. I didn't care where a seat came from. I only cared about 15. That was the magic number. The purpose of a political party is to, drum roll please, win elections. 